Hello, my name is Yonis Dizoglu and in this video tutorial I'm going to answer the questions that uh, people keep asking. Why Ethan doesn't actually work on the new versions of Unity? So let's fix this. So I'm just going to create a new project with the latest version of Unity 2020. Uh, you could actually have any version you wish. So I'm just going to put there Ethan 2. So I'm just going to change the core in Ethan to Ethan 2. I'm going to show you some exciting stuff in this video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to generate your own 3D character. In fact, somebody else has done this, uh, but you will be able to actually customize this character the way you want it. And basically show you also how to import this new character of yours uh, for absolutely free into your Unity project. Okay, once you have your Unity project open, I'm just going to go to the hierarchy and basically generate a new 3D object. And the 3D object is going to be a terrain. Okay, so I've got my terrain in place. The next thing I need to do is go to a window and then select uh, Asset Store because the Asset Store is not there at the moment. So you generate that, you open in the Asset Store and basically search for standard assets. So scroll down, click on the Unity Technologies standard assets, click on it, and then select open in Unity. Now you might see a couple of pop-ups, click to open this in Unity, and this will open in Unity, then click import. Let's click import first. Again, if I go too fast, you can always pause the video, you can actually play back again. So let's exit this window. I'm just going to go to the standard assets. I'm going to select characters. I'm going to select third person. I'm going to select prefabs. And I'm going to click and drag the third person, which is Ethan, but not the AI version, the other version here. Okay. Now, if I press play, I will see this arrow. Now, if I click on the console, now if you do not see the console, go to the window, select uh, general, and then select console. The shortcut for the console is control shift plus C. And if you scroll further up here, you will be able to actually click here as well. So you will be able to see an arrow. So double click on this arrow, and this will open the page with the issue in Visual Studio or your basically text editor. So now as you can see, the, there is some underlying code. So the GUI text library has been removed. So we need to comment this out. We're going to do this by putting forward slash, forward slash. We're also going to comment out this line, forward slash, forward slash. And also we're going to comment the third line, forward slash, forward slash. And now we can click Save. We can close this page. We can minimize this window. Let's wait a little bit. Uh, basically took place and let's go to the arrow here and select clear all and now if we press play this is how we fix the issue with Ethan and Ethan now is going to be working on any version uh, of Unity okay the next thing we need to do is basically bring the camera to Ethan in fact no we do, we're just going to leave this Ethan as it is let's generate the new version of Ethan so in this case I'm just going to go to a website called does3d.com and basically download the Does Studio for free okay once the Das Studio is downloaded, you will be able to open the Das Central. Now, the Das Central will enable you to basically go through and basically download and purchase plugins, purchase assets, or you can download some assets are for free as well. And every so often, Das is quite good. You know, they're giving you some freebies. So all this stuff that I've got are for free. Are free. I've not paid anything. Uh, this is because every so often does do uh, do um, special offers or give freebies just to keep people, you know, uh, keep accessing the website and stuff and keep a popularity high. Uh, so in this case, now I'm just going to scroll further up, go to the Dust Studio and then click open to open the Dust Studio. Give some time. It's absolutely brilliant tool. 
so you can watch some training tutorials etc etc here i'm just going to click ok I'm just going to give you a little crash course here so it's not it's not very it's not going to be brilliant because i try to keep things short because the purpose of this is uh, unity and not does so i'm just going to go here and click figures and there there's lots of figures here i've got and i'm just going to click and drag uh, this figure over and give some time then you will be able to actually customize this you can customize his hair by clicking and dragging okay you can customize his face you can customize quite a few stuff so i'm just going to leave this as it is in fact control z to undo i'm just going to leave it the way the other guy the original developer had it okay so again this is for educational purposes so i'm just going to go to file now and select save uh, export sorry and i'm just going to export this as fbx file make sure you put the name ethan2 i'm going to call him and click save and now from this window it is important make sure yeah you check this option merge clothing into figure skeleton okay and these are the options that i have selected so make sure you match in these options and click OK. Just give some few seconds, or so depends how fast your computer is. Okay, you might need a bit more time. And I'm gonna minimize this now. I'm gonna go back to my Unity, and I'm gonna go to the project folder. Let's collapse everything. I'm gonna click Assets. I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna select Import New Asset. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna import uh, Ethan 2 and now with ethan selected i'm gonna go here to the ridge and change the animation type to humanoid then i'm gonna click apply and then i'm gonna click configure so here everything is green that's good so if i go to the muscle and settings i can actually try to see if everything moves as expected cool so it's moving all right so all the movements are there. I'll make him do lots of splits there. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to reset that. And now I know everything works. I'm just going to click Done here. And I'm going to go here, right click, and select Create Empty. I'm just going to call this Ethan 2. And I'm just going to click and drag this Ethan 2 over to my Ethan empty i'm gonna click now on my ethan here and i'm just gonna remove the default animation from here let's remove component because i'm gonna take all the components okay from uh, ethan so i'm just gonna go to the animator click on the three dots select copy component i'm gonna go to my new ethan 2 and i'm just gonna click on the three dots uh, Let's click on the three dots. I'm going to select paste component as new. I'm going to go to the third person, Ethan. I'm going to click and copy the rigid body. Go to my Ethan 2 and paste the rigid body. I'm going to go to the third person, copy the capsule collider. I'm going to go to Ethan 2, paste the collider i'm gonna go to the third person copy the code the scripts and i'm gonna go to ethan here and paste the scripts ethan 2. okay so i've got this in place now so let's bring this ethan to here oops let's click on it okay so now i've got my ethan here sorry old ethan you have to go so let's click on this ethan let's bring him to the top okay and what i'm going to do now i'm just going to make sure that uh, the uh, avatar here 
is my ethan2. And also, let's bring the camera to Ethan. And I'm just going to change the camera settings here. Let's change the position to zero. Let's change that to two. Let's change that to minus three, maybe. Yeah, this will do. Let's bring this up a bit. Let's make it three. And let's put some tilt. So for the rotation X, I'm just going to make it 15, maybe. Let's make it 20. Yeah, 20 is better. And if I press play now, I will be able to actually use it. Ah, oh, it's a bit, oh, it's a bit, okay. It's a bit flickery there. Let's stop this. And let's select Ethan. And uh, let's go to the, uh, here, capsule collider. Let's make this 0 0.5, sorry, 1.5. Let's press play. Let's see. Now, is it glitching? No, it's not glitchy at all now. Oh, nice and smooth movement. Yeah, and jumping. Cool. Okay, so now what we could do, we could actually bring some colors to him. So let's see. If we can actually do have, let's go back here to does and let's go export. And I'm just going to call this Ethan three. Click save. Embed textures. Make sure you select textures to the folder. And let's let's click accept. So we need the textures basically. Yeah, that's good. That's better. Okay, so we have the textures to the folder. Cool. So what we need to do now, we need to go to our Unity. And let's go to Ethan here. And let's go here and let's click and drag the folder over. Cool. So let's double click here. And now if I can expand my Ethan to, I will be able to basically see all the elements here. And basically what I need to do now is just click and drag each element into the right section. So for the boots, that's the boots here. So we'll have some color now. Uh, shirt, click and drag shirt there. Uh, and so on and so forth. I'm just going to let you play with this. So by clicking and dragging, you will be able to dress uh, the new Ethan uh, appropriately. Okay, so I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you will use these new skills of yours to create some cool and cracking video games. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.